thank you. If people vote Conservative on May the 7th, they will have a candidate who will be a strong, enthusiastic supporter of business in Southport, both retail and tourism. We want to protect the NHS, ensuring it gets the funding that it needs. I want to protect pensioners, benefits. Those people are the most vulnerable in society that have paid their way, deserve to be protecting. And of course, on the big issue of immigration, we need to tackle it. And as well as that, we're the only party that's offering people their say on Europe, in or out, it's up to the people of this country and this constituency to be allowed to make that important decision. Thanks so much indeed. Give more for the Conservatives. Jacqueline, now Jacqueline Barlow for the Southport Party. My name's Jacqueline and I feel that change is needed in politics as a whole with a common sense approach to policy and with integrity which currently is lacking in decision making. We have all seen the deterioration with the continual asset stripping and mismanagement of our town. When I talk to people, they want a local person to represent them with Southport agenda. This I can promise to do as I have no party line to follow. In 1987 and 1997, the Boundary Commission confirmed it is viable for us to leave Southport, so a split would not be bad for us. It is our chance as a town to purely have Southport represented as a lead political agenda and for the town to become a unitary borough where the money collected in Southport is spent in Southport with self-determination, decision-making which will benefit the town, tourism and business. We need to restore our services, our town hall, our identity, our futures, our jobs, looking towards our excellent, hard-working youth in particular. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jacqueline Barlow with the South Park Party for the Lib Dems, John Q. I wouldn't altogether disagree with Jacqueline, but look, we have had an economy that's had that's occurred until a heart attack. Don't talk about boom and bust anymore because the boom and bust are not going or happening anymore because bust happened. Bust happened in Southport. Southport's economy took a substantial nosedive. Things are though now picking up. We have more apprentices. We have better uh, progress on things by, by road and by rail. We have more footfall in the shops. We have prospects ahead of us, but in order to uh, make the best of those prospects, in order to make progress, we need a candidate who is very experienced, we need a candidate who knows Southport well, I've been here 40 years, I would say that. And you need a candidate who is independent, and nobody, not even my enemies, would call me a party clone. We need somebody who understands the local NHS, which has had quite a few problems here, somebody who's resolutely fought all the time for the local voice to be heard, because we have problems with our NHS, we need to have them resolved, we need to have them resolved by somebody who understands the area and understands the issues. Thanks very much indeed, that will jump in from the Dems. Terry Dorris is for UKIP. Yeah, this election is not really about us, the people on this platform, it's about you and the type of society that you want. Just look around you in Southport and what do you see? This is a society that the tired old establishment parties have created for you over the years by both national and local governments. If you think they have done a good job in running our town and our country, you should have no hesitation in voting for them again. But if, like me, you are fed up with essential council services being cut back, if you're worried about an NHS suffocated with bureaucracy, starved of cash and rudderless, if you are fearful of a broken law and order system with the closure of local police stations and the nearest custody suite being in Bootle and our magistrate's court being in Bootle, if you fear for the future of our town and country, you owe it to yourself to vote for a change, and only UKIP can deliver that change. Thanks so much indeed, Terry. Terry Rose from UKIP, Greens, Lawrence Rankin. Thank you. I've lived in Southport for 26 years, and it's often seen as a prosperous town, but it has its fair share of disadvantaged and vulnerable people, and those are the people who have suffered most from the ideological cuts that the Tory government has brought in, and they have brought those cuts in more in the northwest of England than in any other part of the country. We've seen the impact locally on cuts to our health service and cuts to our local library services and many other services. And we now see threats to our environment from the local plan with speculative and inappropriate building on the green belt and our green spaces. We also see threats from fracking. We see threats to our education system through the privatisation by way of the academy system. We need to reverse those cuts. We need to change the economic system that at the moment works for the wealthy and not for you and I. We need an economy that's sensible, we need to create a fair society, and we need to ensure that we have a sustainable environment. Thank you very much, Jude Lawrence, Lawrence Rankin there for the Greens, and for Labour, Liz Savage. Hi, I'm standing in Southport because I believe it's really important that there's actually a choice for people here. 
and the people have voted tactically in Southport for a very long time to keep the Tories out. And what we saw this time was the Lib Dems going in with the Tories, and we've seen the local MP vote so many times with the Tory, Tory government to actually um, enforce their policies. And I, don't, I believe that Southport people should have better. I feel that we need an MP who would basically stand up for Southport and tell us about the good things that Southport has to offer. It's an absolutely vibrant seaside town and we can improve the economy of Southport by working with Sefton councillors, not against Sefton councillors, and also by pointing out to people what a wonderful place Southport is to visit. Thanks very much indeed, that's Mrs. Abbott from Labour. So we heard from all of the six <laughs> candidates. <laughs> <laughs>